Since I was 18 and I left my house to study to London, I lived in many places. And I lived in London, I lived in Melbourne, Tokyo, Bali, Barcelona. And uh, it's really hard to name one place as a home at this point, you know, because every place offers something different. Every place was influential in some sense to me as an artist. Uh, yeah, and as a human. In my personal work, I talk about serious subjects that matter to me, but in a language that's really accessible. So in a way, like it's easy. And I like art that's not intimidating. And it's like, you know, it doesn't have to be like in a white gallery or you don't have to have a like, degree to understand it or like to at least approach or try to understand it. But you know, the subjects like, it's whatever I'm living through and, uh, and they're like really existential. And I put everything in my work, like all my heart and my soul. So for me, the subject of transformation is important to me personally. Uh, going back to nature, like the biggest transformers are mushrooms, you know, they, they break down everything that's alive, that's, that's been alive, that's now dead, so other alive things can go. And uh, the, this girl is about that. You know, she's actually, she's a fountain, she's sucking up some water, you know, spraying some out. But for me, it's like a, a message for us, like every human is a transformer energy and it's for, uh, up to us to change our environment, to change the world and take action. You know, believe in your own power that you can change things. So there you go, that's the mushroom girl.